Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation. 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. We notice that this 4x cubed is not a perfect cube. So to make this 4x cubed a perfect cube, we multiply the whole equation by 2. So this will become 2 times 4x cubed will become 8x cubed and 2 times negative 6x squared will become negative 12x squared. 2 times 4x will become plus 8 times x. 2 times negative 1 negative 2 is equal to 0 times 2 is 0. Now this 8x cubed 8x cubed is same as 2x whole cubed and this 12x squared this 12x squared is same as 3 times 2x whole squared. So we can rewrite this expression at the left hand side as 2x whole cubed minus 3 times 2x whole squared plus this 8x is same as 4 times 2x. This negative 2 negative 2 is equal to 0. Now we suppose that this 2x is equal to y. Let 2 times x is equal to y. So this equation will become y cubed minus 3y squared plus 4 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Next y cubed minus 3y squared plus 4 times y. This negative 2 is same as negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. We combine these two terms of y cubed and negative 1. So this will become y cubed minus 1. Remaining expression negative 3y squared plus 4 times y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we use parentheses to make two groups of this expression. The first one is y cubed minus 1. We use parentheses to make this a group minus another parentheses to make the second group. Due to this negative sign, this negative 3y squared will become positive 3y squared and this plus 4y will become negative 4y. This negative 1 will become plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this one is same as 1 cubed. So by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This y cubed minus 1 cubed will become y minus 1 times y squared plus y plus 1 minus this 3y squared minus 4y plus 1 is a quadratic expression and is factorable. We write this 3y squared, 3y squared. This negative 4y can be written as a negative 3 times y minus y plus this 1 is equal to 0. Next, y minus 1 times y 
squared plus y plus 1 minus from these two terms 3y squared minus 3y we can factor out 3 times y in bracket left y minus 1 and from these two terms we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left y minus 1 is equal to 0 next y minus 1 times y squared plus y plus 1 minus from this expression this y minus 1 is a common factor so we factor out this y minus 1 and in bracket left this 3y and this negative 1 in bracket left 3 times y minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here you can see that this y minus 1 is a common factor so we factor out this y minus 1 and in bracket left this y squared plus y plus 1 minus 3 times y minus 1 in bracket left y squared plus y plus 1 minus 3 times y minus 1 is equal to 0 further simplify this will become y minus 1 times y squared plus y plus 1 negative times 3y negative 3y and negative times negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 further simplify this will become y minus 1 times y squared this y minus 3y will become negative 2y and 1 plus 1 will become plus 2 is equal to 0 from here either this expression y minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression y squared minus 2 times y plus 2 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of y is equal to 1 and from this equation this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula y is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1 next y is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus or minus square root of this negative 2 squared will become 4 and negative 4 times 1 times 2 negative 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 next y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of this 4 minus 8 will become negative 4 divided by 2 and y is equal to 2 plus or minus this root negative 4 is same as root 4 times root negative 1 divided by 2 now this root negative 1 root negative 1 is equal to i so this expression will become y is equal to 2 plus or minus root 4 is 2 this root negative 1 will become i divided by 2 now from the numerator we can factor out 2 so this will become y is equal to 2 as common factor in bracket left 1 plus minus i 
divided by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we are left with y is equal to 1 plus minus i and first we found that uh, y is equal to first we found that uh, y is equal to 1 first we found that uh, y is equal to 1 now to find the values of x uh, we recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, 2 times x is equal to y. We have supposed that uh, 2 times x is equal to y. So when y is 1, then this equation will become 2 times x is equal to 1. If we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, x is equal to 1 over 2 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of this equation now when y is equal to 1 plus minus i then this equation will become 2 times x is equal to 1 plus minus i divide both sides by 2 this implies that x is equal to 1 plus minus i divided by 2 it means uh, from here we get uh, two values of x x2 is equal to 1 plus uh, i divided by 2 and x3 is equal to 1 minus i divided by 2 so for this uh, cubic equation we have three solutions the first one is uh, 1 over 2 and the second one is uh, 1 plus i over 2 and the third one is uh, 1 minus i over 2.